Hello, this is Mr. Doty, and we're going to try to tackle something that, um, well, I don't have a video for this, so that's why I'm making this. And I found that a lot of the students aren't really grasping exactly how to do this CAM uh, diagram part of the uh, chapter. Uh, this is chapter 16. It's got a lot of stuff in it. I'm not exactly sure why the authors decided to put so much in it, but anyway, uh, that's that's another thing that we can work out too. So uh, cam displacement diagram, there's lots of different variations. Um, you know, if you look in the book, you have your simple harmonic motion uh, where you divide a circle into six pieces, half a circle into six pieces. Uh, the next one you have is a constant velocity, and that's actually the one that I want to talk about right now. And I'll do one for some of these other ones as well. But for right now, see how long this takes, and we're going to work on this uh, constant velocity one. It's the second one actually in the book as far as the types. Uh, you also have uh, cycloidal. You have, um, let's see, you have uniform, accelerated, modified constant velocity, constant velocity, and simple harmonic motion. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, that seems to be about it. And I will do my best to cover all of these different ones, but I'm just going to make a video right now. Uh, because I happen to be checking this one and I want to go ahead and make it first. Uh, you know, chicken, egg, who cares, right? So uh, this is going to be a constant velocity motion. And basically on a constant velocity motion, you have to look at what does the problem say. So in 16-17 uh, or dot 17, Construct a cam displacement diagram for a cam follower that rises in modified constant velocity. Now it says modified constant velocity, so I'm going to have to make sure I'm doing it right. So there's modified. Okay, yes. I'm on the right track. Uh, for three inches, so that's how tall this box needs to be. So let's fix this. I'm going to go to stretch, and I'm just going to... Stretch this down 0.5, and now it's 3. Now, in the book, it says to make any convenient length. Well, for some reason in my brain, my teachers always told us to lay it out by 12 inches, or the book that I learned off of said to lay it out at 12 inches. I mean, any convenient length is not necessarily going to give you the same shape that I have in the answer book. And the thing is, well, in one way, the main thing is that it has to follow hitting all of these lines. Now, okay, so this is at a convenient length. So let's just leave it like this for now. But anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that. The main thing is, is that each one of these divisions is the same. So what you would do is... You would go in and have a line, which I'm going to explode this so I have an individual line here. I would use the divide command, okay? And I'm going to divide this line into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces, which is probably why I always made them a foot long, so they were all an inch, right? So anyway, I'm going to divide it into 12 pieces. Now, you can see there's little dots there. Well, you can't really see those, and the only way you can hook onto it is with the node command. So something you could do is you could turn on node here, for one, in your object snap. Then the other thing is, is you can go up here, make sure that you've got your menu bar turned on. Apparently, I hadn't done that yet. You want to go to format, you want to go to point style, and you want to change it to something you can see. Like a lot of times I'll pick an X like that. 
Now, depending on where you're um, zoomed in, is going to determine how big these guys show up there in relationship. So if you reach in, and they may get bigger if you're zoomed in. But that's okay. So I just wanted to show you that this is divided up correctly into 12 pieces, which is what you want. So that's why, or however many pieces you need. Now the main thing on these is you need to look at on the diagram, you know, the directions. If it says that it rises in, you know, 15 degree increments, or if you divided it out in evenly spaced, that like if you needed to divide it into six pieces, well, you need to divide the angles into six pieces. So if it goes 180 degrees in six pieces, then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, then it's 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, and then 180. And there's some of these that actually, you know, they change. This one might be 25 degrees, and then, you know, it rests for 30. And then this might be 15 degrees increments. So you need to think about that when you're figuring out these different layouts, okay? Like I said, I'll go through some different ones of these to try to help you figure this out. All right, so now that I know I've got this, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these just because I can. I don't need them. Okay, so I have this. I have the correct height. This should always be set to whatever the total rise is, okay? So total rise and um, and then we have our 12 spaces and that's what I need. All right, so regular um, constant velocity motion is basically this. Uh, you draw a line from zero down here on the bottom and then I'm going to go up here to 180 all the way up and then I come down to 360 like this okay this is just basic constant velocity motion now we're asked to do a modified constant velocity motion and basically what you do is you take and put that sounds right. Here at the beginning, here in the middle, and here at the end, you need to put a radius of one third of this, so it would be one. And the thing is, is it has to be tangent here, right? And actually, tangent and touch this part right here. So let's draw us a circle that has a radius of 1. And let's double check and make sure that we did that. Alright, it says circle. Where is the circle? Do we need to do circumference area? Radius of 1. Okay, just making sure. Alright, take that. There you go. All right, so uh, radius of one. So basically, I want to move this from. Oh, there's another one you may want to turn on occasionally. Sometimes you need quadrant. I could have just typed it in, but I'm going to be lazy and do this. All right, now I'm going to go to copy. I need to do the same thing here, and then I need it up here as well, but. Um, I need to move, and I'm going to move this up here like so. Okay. So if this is just regular constant velocity, to modify it, I need to draw a line that is tangent with this circle, tangent with this circle, and then I'm just going to use the mirror function. This should be the same. And then I'm going to use trim. And trim's weird now um, in 21. You, it automatically goes to all of this. So I have to get used to remembering to go ahead and pick what I want to cut with. I want to cut with this. 
Oh, I want to cut with this. I want to cut with this. And I want to cut with this. And I want to cut with this. I think. And then I'm going to do trim. And now, there we go. Now I can get rid of just what I want. So after using this for almost 30 years, they change up exactly how we do this. And so now it messes with me. But that's okay. So now I can get rid of these two lines here because that's just constant velocity. Now modified constant velocity looks like this. And this is what you should be doing. Now remember, this is very important to get this the right height. And like I said, it, the book says any convenient distance. The main thing is you need to divide whatever this distance up here. Use the divide command. Divide it into 12 or however many pieces you need. If you need to go from here to 180 and divide it into 4 pieces or 8 pieces or 12 pieces or however many pieces you need to get the angle correct, you do that. You just draw a line, you know. Draw a line over to, let's say, in 150, it goes all the way up. Well, if it goes all the way up in 150, and I'm doing one of the other ones where I need six divisions, then I'd need to go in and divide this by six, and then figure out, you know, how many degrees is that. So then you take 150 divided by six, and you get your answer, okay? So I'll show you how we do that in the other ones, but... For now, this one is Modified Constant Velocity Motion of Cams. And I hope this is helpful, and we'll do another one. Thank you, and we'll catch you later.